Hello, hello, hello. I'm the painter dog and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Now I took a look around and I thought to myself, let's go and attempt to at least complete this objective or story mission to use Rodia Center to offer free Rodia in the Konigsberg area. That's where we are now. I fast traveled to this outpost. So let's use this scent and see if we can find anything. I'm going to stave off using it right now until we find roe deer. That's a fallow deer need sight. Fallow deer, roe deer. You know what? I'm actually going to travel in a southwesterly direction. Only problem is the wind's not really in our favor, but that's fine, we can work around that. And hopefully we'll be able to find a nice couple of rodeo, because I already hunted, as you can see in our codex there, one of three rodeo using the scent. So I'm going to use the scent and we'll see how this goes. But as you know, I haven't been, I haven't really been posting for about a couple of weeks. But hopefully I'm going to be able to hopefully I'm going to be able to post more regularly now again. Things are a bit hectic, really, really hectic. But hopefully, as I say, we'll get more onto schedule in the next couple of days. Now I have about a day. Where's that wall come from? I have no idea. As I was saying, I have a day off work today. And I actually rework my schedule so that I can have a day off from university as well. So I can just be home. There should be a track nearby. I don't worry about a track now. Oh, uh, my mouse is really irritating the last couple of days. I don't think I got that one. But we'll see. Why did I just reload? Me and my sister's boyfriend were playing... Where are we now? We were playing... Gears of War this weekend on his Xbox and I have to say I really missed that game and we were playing multiplayer and it was awesome I truly enjoyed it and I believe that's the same road here but let's go and see I don't think we got her is it a her? I really don't think we got her, but let's at least keep an eye out. I have no extra gear or oh, gear credits. Now, as you can see, I'm really, as you can hear, I'm really missing Cabela's Became Hunter. Let's see if we can smell where she is. Let's crouch. Get our breathing stabilized. And there you go. I actually want to take off. Why did I just reload again? I have to go through the key bindings again. Because I want to take off the. Uh, Rifle scope for a while. Because I actually enjoy hunting without rifle scopes in real life. So I have no idea how it would be in this game. But if I would take a, a guess, I would say it would be kind of awesome. 
because then you have to really stalk the animal. And I thoroughly enjoy that. And if this isn't the need zone, I would be truly surprised. Yeah. And there's our next trophy. Might have to use a bit of spray again. As you can see, I bought loads and loads of the scent. Oh dear, let's see if that counted towards our, yes it did. Now where are we now? Okay, so I have to basically go in a westerly direction now. Which is kind of nice. Now that's our second one. We only need one more. That's a road deer warning call. Wind's not really in our favor, but that's okay. Austin Connorsberg area. So this will count towards our goal. If the scent is still on us. Excuse me for stuttering so so much while I'm talking, but I'm trying to concentrate and looking for the animals through the brush. And as you all know, men aren't really that adept at multitasking, or most of us. As I used to tell my girlfriend, uh, we can't multitask, but we can do one thing, and we can give all our attention to that one thing at a time. So if we watch TV, we become the TV. Now, do I really want to go down there? For, for now, let's continue walking up here and see if we can't get another warning call. Problem is, he also went down there. But let's stay on this ridge and see if we can spot him from up here. Hopefully, we can. What the fellow dear? Okay, he actually went down there. Oh, just rocks. Actually thought it was something a bit more menacing. In real life, I would have broken a leg right there. Let's face it. I think, believe most people would have broken a leg there. I know I might be wasting my scent now, but that's fine. I just want to make sure that we get this guy or girl. Okay, he was running there. So I believe he actually smelled us or heard us or saw us. Which is okay. I got a warning call in that direction. But I'm walking the wind at my back now. So I'm trying to, to get in a more favorable position. Okay. There's bluish tracks down there and over here. Which means he might have crisscrossed a bit. Yeah, as you can see, this is really an awesome Okay, Seriously. I actually really enjoy the graphics in this game. And as you can hear, I'm actually making loads and loads of noise. Where are we on the map? And we're still in the right area. Luckily, this is a huge area. Not like that Peterson cornfield hunt. Actually, I thought I was the only person struggling with that. And I actually got a message from this other YouTuber who's also struggling with that. 
And I was really, I was really, really, really getting cheesed off with that mission. And I almost rage quit right there. But I held out for a while longer. And after a couple of hours, as in real life, I finally got the second tier. Let's face it, the first one was really easy. It took me about five minutes to get that one. But then the hunting pressure and all that stuff basically drove off all the animal. And I got this, I believe it was a fellow deer hunt, if I'm not mistaken. But I knew now it was, you had to hunt a deer. And I found this deer, I took a shot, and it was outside the range of the cornfield. So it actually didn't count. Which is kind of shitty, if you ask me. There you are. I don't know if it's actual bullet drop in this game, but I'm going out of the assumption that there's no bullet drop. And I, as you all know in real life, I would have waited about 10 to 15 minutes before going after that animal. Just so it can, can die peacefully and not run itself to death. But seeing as this is a game, I'm going towards it. Warning call. Oh, I actually got it. Actually, tough to myself. No. If I do say so myself. Did I get that? I'm not sure. Impressive. Seems like the scent did the trick. I'll pass on the results to Zoma. Thank you very much. Now the question is, do I want to complete the other story mission? Take a picture of fellow deer with Konosberg Lake in the background. Mm, I don't know. I really don't know. I actually enjoy that. And I actually now have enough money to buy my 270. But I need loads more. Loads more uh, rifle experience points. To be able to buy the 7mm, which I actually kind of want. Because that's something I would actually use in real life. I know there's loads and loads of uses for the 243 and the 270. But I like going overkill. That's just who I am. In real life. That's why I have a 50 cal, 54 cal, and I actually bought my smallest rifle now is a 308. Because I like going a bit overkill. Because I'm not really a fan of hunting these small antelope species you find in Africa, for, for instance, the Sunni or Klipspringer. Those kinds of ants. Now I know they're really challenging. They are seriously challenging to hunt those deer species, species, but I'm not really a fan of that. Southeastern. Let me just take a quick look at this. Let's track this mission. 